Two goals in the last seven periods. Shut out Denver last year. Can he do it again? Meanwhile, Matt Davis, he's been tougher than the back wall of a shooting gallery. Career high, 46 saves the other day. Almost left the game in that second overtime, but he gutted it out. It was just cramps, and here he is to finish the job as we're underway in Springfield. Miko Matica, the freshman from Helsinki, plays it off for Thompson, who's got a quick shot on goal, and it's stopped by Shane. A good rush there. Miko Matica moves the puck up the ice to Aiden Thompson. He'll pull up, looks for help, drops it back. Quick shot, and a save by Shane, and it goes up into the protective mesh. Let's well, go back to that turnover, Sean, just moments ago. Coming in as DeSantis through a screen, bouncing puck. Oh, there was a chance for Seeger, and he couldn't settle it oh, down. Yeah. Still with it, a drive. Save made, rebound comes out. Another poke at it. They score! DeSantis! Makes it one nothing. Big Red. Clay, this all started with a really strong cycle down low by this line. Seeger, Penny, and DeSantis working the wall, forcing Denver's D to keep him to the outside. And then when they got a chance to cut to the middle, Nick DeSantis is able to keep the puck on a stick like it's on a string. And look at the battle here on the on this far side. Shea Booyam and I think that was Seeger battling for the loose puck. This was the key for Cornell last year. They scored twice in the first 11 minutes. And then the... I, I thought they were really sharp the first five minutes, but it seems to go, be going the other way right now. Well, there's a shot on from the wall from Big Nick. Uh, Michael Suda, excuse me. That one's deflected in front. Bouncing puck. Shane tried to glove it. Now a wraparound try there by Barron's. So many players that can turn it up. The Ten players or nine players with 30 points or more. It's pretty impressive. He's got seven power play goals. That's a team high. He's got it again. That's ramped up off a stick, off the glass. Getting back the other way. Two on him. Right. Moving in. Shot. Oh, a save by I'm Coach Schaefer. And if you're Denver, you want to take away his ice. Fagaris with a crush in right now as they're getting pucks up the, up the ice quicker. Matica threw a screen. Another good save. Really tough to beat. Absolutely. And here they have a chance again. Oh, Castagna lifts. Azeem Bouillon, also a very good defenseman, but an offensive one, carries it in. Set up Loren. Now Robertson has it. Robertson for Cornell. Heavy carom off those end boards. Yeah, two teams that know what they're doing when they get there, for sure. There's a shot and a goal from Matica. That happened quick. Miko Matica. Who was really hot in the NCHC tournament just tied this one up with 132 to go in the first. Wow, that's his 20th of the season. He lets this absolutely fly and a turnover in the zone. Good job on the four check getting in there. The captain, McCain Webster, and he just finds a little seam. Rigo now carries in over the line. Rigo tried to get a shot on through a screen. Muffing in for Denver in their offside. And now broken up in front. And Ryan Walsh will skate it to center ice as the horn sounds. Entertaining first period. Absolutely. And a good sign for Denver. They started to get some offense, a little bit of rush. They were doing a good job getting in the four check. But a lot to be decided in the next lead. You know, they finally get one past Shane. And now a backhand and a stop as DeSantis made a bid for his second goal. But Davis stoned him. Nice job by Davis and the speed of DeSantis. He is feeling it today. Face-off so important. Castagna from Mack now. Sent wide on a backhand by Dean. Not that long ago. Here's Tristan Bros, the hero from the other day. Oh, boy. And now Kraft turns backhand right out in front by Devlin. And the save made. Room here for Carter King. He'll pull up on the half wall, swings it across to an open wing. And it's slapped off his stick by Robertson. Now Manica, another drive from the circle. Oh, that one slid right. To Left it for O'Leary. O'Leary with that great speed on his backhand, goes forehand right out in front. He was trying to set up Mack. Yeah, Mack and William were tied up on the side there with some equipment issues and almost connected after they got disconnected. Here is Cornell. Robertson. Low wrister and Davis. Here today, the crowd's been great. The whole community's been buzzing on college hockey. It's been fun to be around. Booyam lugs it back to center. He'll play it on the wing. Olvestad 
Kind of a Stanley holds it in. Wrist shot blocked by Anderson. Kept alive by Cornet. Wrist shot. Another block out in front, and that was Buckberger. Work around Carter King. Got a wrist shot down low and hit traffic in front. ECAC. Mack turns, fires, goes well wide of the near post. And Cam puts it on the brakes. Now circles to the middle from the slot. His shot didn't get through. Two against UMass, and they came late in that hockey game. There's a drive. Save made by. That's Kemp playing without lumber here. Shot loaded the ice, and it's in. That snuck in. Shane made the initial stop, but it dripped in with 4.8 seconds left in the period. Well, Hank Kemp lost his stick in front of the net, and that causes trouble in this superior offense from Denver. You knew they could, when they got a chance they were going to take advantage, as this team all year long has been great offensively. We'll see who they give it to. That's a tough goal to give up, though. Four seconds left. You cannot put Denver on the power play. Right now, they're giving it to Sam Harris. His 14th of the year with shot. Period, Denver was much better in getting the puck up and out quicker. Last year. In the net here today. Sure they'd like overlooked because of that, but here they are. That one caroms up high over the net. The charge, he'll hand off for Thompson. Calling for it is Matica. He winds, fires a blistering shot that missed wide. Matica trying to stay with the play. Webster again, he'll jam it off the near side wall, comes sliding out into the paint. And they rallied from two down to beat Dartmouth, as that's wrapped in by Penny. Keeps it in. Now Seeger lays it back for Bancroft. Bancroft's shot was deflected. Lemire trying to get the rebound. Now here's Zeeb, he'll drop it back. Carter King centers. Now Mack digs it off the boards, goes towards the front, got a shot on, and pinched by Matt Davis between those big white pads. Penny now supporting the puck. Penny throws it in. Davis makes the save. The rebound loose. And trying to jam it home was DeSantis, but he couldn't get a clean shot. And look who's there to clean up the trash and get it out of the zone. Jared Wright. Booyam centers for third. Loose puck. Castania got a shot on. Davis there instead. He'll play it to the point. Shy Booyam sent it well wide. Webster. Long range. Deflected wide on the wraparound. Save Davis looking for the net as it gets later. Throw it out in front. Oh, tripped wide by Castagna. Still dangerous side of the cage. And now finally, Bros is able to walk it free, and Denver clears. Just bounced over his stick. What an seconds left. From the corner, Seeger, one timer, and whoa, Seeger. Backhand to the front, it's over. Denver survives. The Denver Pioneers going back to the Frozen Four for the 19th time. And it wasn't easy. What a game, what a finish. Cornell battling, and who's there to make the biggest save of the regional? Final, it's Matt Davis. This, this pass across the crease somehow. Incredible finish to this one. Denver victorious. They move on to the Frozen Four. Cornell 0-6 in regional finals since 2003. And they're...